Welcome back. One of Tom's favorite things is history, and he has landed over at the Hus History Museum on the square. So, Tom, are you getting some good history lessons today? Let me tell you, there is never a day that you're not going to get great history lessons here at the History Museum, right here on the square. And this man knows about all of them. John Sellers, it is always a pleasure to talk to you. Don't oversell it. I'm not going to because we've been sitting here as we're getting ready, and the things I learned just from asides from this man are, are terrific. But what I want to do is focus on what you what you have right now at, at the museum right now, that's around us. Yeah, right now and, and until the 7th of May, this exhibit is called Community Cornerstones, uh -huh. or Black Educators in Springfield. And it tells the story of segregated schools, yeah. the Lincoln School that was here, and then how those educators impacted the students of that school, and then how as the schools integrated in 1954, how they impacted much larger groups of students as they yeah. got out into the entire school system. Because they, when the schools integrated, those teachers were moved to other schools yes. and spread out across the whole uh, school system. Well, I mean, you know, you, you, it's, just, you, it's, it's amazing. You, you mentioned, you know, when integration began. You said it, and from what I'm remembering, what you said it was like a light switch. It, 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 when, the, when the whole thing was done, when Brown versus the Board of Education mm -hmm. was adjudicated in the Supreme Court, immediately the superintendent of schools, Wilder J. Graff, said, we've got to integrate. We've got to do it right away. Yeah. And so the next school's term, uh, that fall, they integrated all the schools and there was no problems. There was no anything. It uh -huh. just went as smooth as could be. They moved those kids out into the normal schools. Yeah. And it, uh, it's gone on ever since. Well, now, of course, you started, you were talking about Lincoln School, mm -hmm. integral to the, the growth and development of Springfield. It, yeah, it was, it was such a pivot point for the entire black population. Mm -hmm. It was a place, uh, there were years when they couldn't check out a library book. Yeah. They couldn't go to the public library. But the library would allow Lincoln to check out books for them. So the librarian from Lincoln would go to the public library and get books and check out the people in the community outside of the school. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes, and I know that you know part of this and part of the, the teaching experience that people can, can get here at the museum. You have somebody coming in, and they're going to be over at the Fox. Absolutely. Tell Absolutely. me about what's going on with in, that as uh, well. The Missouri Humanities is having their sixth annual symposium, uh, and tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, uh, they're having a, uh, they're having a <laughs> program yeah. called The Roots of Route 66, The Green Book, and Driving While Black on the Mother Road okay. with Candace C. Taylor. And Miss Taylor is a wonderful author, and her book is called Overground Railroad, The Green Book and the Roots of Black Travel in America. Okay. And uh, it's, uh, she's just really, really good. And she's going to be the keynote speaker tomorrow night here at the Fox Theater. All right. And that's at 7 o'clock. Yeah, and then seven. on Saturday, there are four different seminars that start with a, the first session is Latinos in Higher Education, and that's mm -hmm. going to be at the E-Factory. And then the second one is We Are Still Here, Remembering the Cherokee Removal, and that's going to be at the Moxie, and it's a film about these young Cherokee uh, bicyclists yeah. who ride the Trail, Trail of, of tears, tears on bicycles. Because it came right through, right through here. here. And then the, the third session is Refugees and Resettlement in the Ozark, and that's going to be a panel discussion out at the Library Center. And then it's all going to finish up in, uh, at Mother's Brewing Company with traveling into the Ozarks, ways to experience travel. Through How do area. people keep track? How do they get tickets if they need uh, them? Go online. Okay. Uh, we've got it on the, uh, on the History Museum on the square.org and also on, uh, uh, what is their website? Well, if you, if yeah, you go yeah. to the History Museum, you, 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 go, you can go from there. Yeah, History Museum. And remember the dot .org. Right. Yeah, the dot .org. Okay, and we're going to come back and talk about what's going to be coming up here at the museum. But trust me, come by and see the programs, the, the, the exhibits, 
it is worth every second you spend here. We'll go back to you right now. All right, Tom, thanks so much. You know, Camille, there really is so many exciting things to see inside there. And I would argue there's probably a lot of people in the Ozarks that haven't checked it out. So they need to go and experience I agree with the that. museum. I yes. totally agree.